So if we, if we look at the idea of dreams as a starting point, uh, something obviously that's a very popular subject, trying to understand the nature of dreams, the, the meaning behind dreams. I have a quote here from Joseph Campbell, who you may be familiar with as well as, a, as an anthropologist and, and someone who wrote extensively on, on mythology. He wrote in The Hero with a Thousand Faces, dream is the personalized myth, myth the depersonalized dream. Both myth and dream are symbolic in the same general way of the dynamics of the psyche. But in the dream, the forms are quirked by the, pre by the peculiar troubles of the dreamer. Whereas in myth, the problems and solutions shown are directly valid for all mankind. So just as a, a quick tangent, the idea of mythology is also important to understand here because it often isn't uh, considered as something, let's say, legitimate. Myth is often considered fantasy, fairy tales, even often how we refer to it. If we say something is a myth, we're saying it's a fallacy, it's not true. But mythos comes from the Greek for truth, because what's being expressed in mythology, while not a literal truth, is a symbolic truth. Uh, a universal truth of some nature, which is expressing something timeless for the human being to derive a, a lesson, a teaching, a meaning. Often which can be very inspiring because mythology is, is helping us to connect with the most ancient root of, of humanity or the cosmos. So myth in a way is the symbolic history. It's the symbolic dimension of history that can complement the, the logical and the factual. And in that case, using uh, Campbell's example, we can see that the concept of mythology personalized is dream. It's the symbolic dimension that helps us to understand the content of our own unconscious. And Jung saw it very much in the same way, that the, the content of the unconscious mind is surfacing to us in our sleep in order to bring our attention to something. Of course, it's represented to us in, an, in a symbolic way because the, conscious, the unconscious mind speaks to us in symbols. It doesn't tell you exactly, hey, by the way, this is the thing you need to know about yourself. If only it did, I'm sure that would be very helpful, but no, we have to work for it a little bit.